If your last home purchase was three or more years ago, you're also considered a first time home buyer and first time home buyers can get down payment assistance. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me once again for some more real estate content. In today's video, we're gonna be talking all about down payment assistance. What is it? How can you qualify for it? And how it differs depending on what state you live in. It's really hard to generalize down payment assistance programs because they all differ depending on what state, city, or even what county you live in. And all of these programs do have their own set of rules. This video will hopefully help you understand how down payment assistance works, who usually qualifies, and the different types of programs that may be available to you. A great way to cut to the chase is to Google down payment assistance programs in your state, city, or county. Just type that right into Google and that'll give you the programs that are available in your local area and all of the rules and guidelines for those programs. All right, so first of all, what is a down payment? I'm sure that you guys already know what this is, so you may not even need this explanation, but it's really simple. Basically, a down payment is just a portion or a percentage of money that you pay when you close on a house and that percentage is uh, a percentage of the home's final sale price. So let's do some quick math here. I'll pull out my calculator. If you purchased a home for $400,000, let's type in $400,000, which might sound kind of crazy if you're from a different state, but that's pretty normal for the Portland metro area. So let's take $400,000. And if you're doing an FHA loan, which we talked a lot about in one of our previous videos, I'll link it up here. It's a great loan type, especially if you're a first time home buyer. And that requires you to put 3.5% down. So let's do 400,000 times 3.5%. That equals $14,000. So you'll be having to put down $14,000 when you close on that home purchase. If you're doing just a 5% down conventional loan, that would be, so let's see, 400,000 times 5%. $20,000, so you're paying $6,000 more if you're doing a 5% conventional loan. So I just wanted to illustrate that your down payment amount really differs depending on what loan type you're getting, whether that's FHA, conventional, if you're getting a VA or a USDA loan, which we also talked about in detail in one of my previous videos, then those are 0% down loans, so you won't be having to put any money down in that case, but it just differs. So if you are having to put a down payment down <laughs> and you need assistance, there are programs that can help you with that. So down payment assistance comes in a variety of ways. It can come in the form of a grant, a loan, or even from a nonprofit organization, depending on where you live. There are many different programs that are available. In a way, it's kind of like scholarships. So if you are or were a college student at one point, you'll totally understand what I'm talking about. A grant is free money, so that's what you want. When I was applying for scholarships, I was trying to find as many grants that I could qualify for as possible because that's money that is basically just gifted to you. You don't have to pay that back. And there are also loans. There are, of course, loans with a lower interest rate than others, which is better, but loans are still a form of assistance that you have to pay back at some point. So if I'm borrowing that money right now, I'll still have to give it back in the future, typically with uh, an interest rate attached to it, so I'll have to pay a little bit more in the long run. So let's just briefly go through the different types of down payment assistance programs that are available. Of course, we've already said the first type, which is a grant, which is what you want, it's free gifted money that you don't have to worry about paying back. The next type is a forgivable loan. So these have 0% interest, which is fantastic, and what it means is that you have to stay in the house for a specific amount of years in order for that loan to be forgiven. So these programs will usually require you to stay in your home for five years and then they will forgive that down payment loan that they've given you. Sometimes it can be as much as 15 or 20 years, it all depends on the program. But if you decide to move, sell, or refinance before that time period is up, you will have to pay back that loan. But the good news is, is it doesn't have any interest attached to it. Our next type is a deferred payment loan, which is also 0% interest, which is awesome, but you do have to pay this loan back when you move, sell, or refinance. If you sell, this amount is usually paid off from the proceeds of your sale. And again, you don't have to pay any interest, so that is the good news about this type of loan. Our fourth type is a low interest loan. So as the name implies, this type of loan does have an interest rate attached to it. This is basically a second mortgage that you have to pay monthly along with your first mortgage or your home loan. Your your lender can offer you a low interest loan in order to help you make that down payment up front, but again, it's very important to keep in mind that you are paying this on a monthly basis. Interest does accrue, so you have to make sure to make these payments on time. So in a nutshell, you're making two mortgage payments monthly. You're paying off your first mortgage or your home loan, and you're paying off this down payment assistance loan. 
This definitely isn't the most ideal option out of all the ones we've discussed so far, but if you're finding that you really need down payment assistance and this is the only assistance type that is available to you, make sure that the interest rate is as low as it can possibly be. Talk to your lender about that. I know some lenders will even offer a loan like this with no interest rate, which is obviously even better. Our fifth down payment assistance option is a matched savings program, which is pretty interesting. Essentially what you do is you deposit a certain dollar amount into a separate account that you have with your bank. So let's say you deposit $5,000. Your bank agrees to match that amount, so they also put $5,000 in that account. So now you have $10,000 that you're able to use in order to make your down payment. It's kind of like asking your parents to buy you a super cool new phone and they tell you that you have to hand over some of your savings in order for them to help you make that purchase, except in this case, it's not your parents, it's the bank, and it's not a super cool new phone, it's a house. All right, so who generally qualifies for down payment assistance programs? Typically, these programs are reserved for first-time home buyers, but if you haven't made a purchase, a home purchase in three years, even if you've already bought a home before, if it's been three or more years, you're already considered a first time home buyer by most down payment assistance programs. When I learned this, my mind was blown. I mean, how cool is that? You don't technically have to be a first time home buyer. It just has to have been three or more years since your last home purchase. You can't get down payment assistance if you're buying the property as a rental or an investment property. It has to be your primary residence. Eligibility is also also determined by how much money you make and what your credit score is. Of course, this will also differ depending on the program. I would generally say your credit score should be at least 620, but again, that will differ. And they also often look at your debt to income ratio. We've talked about that in previous videos. Essentially, they look at how much debt you have and compare it to your income. So if your debt really surpasses your income, that can be a big red flag to most lenders. Most programs will also require you to live in that home for a certain number of years. Some programs will also require you to go through a training or a class that will teach you about the mortgage process and how to manage your finances. So they won't give you that down payment assistance until you've gone through that class. These classes are intended to help prepare you for a home purchase because it really is a big step. For most people, this is the biggest purchase that they're ever going to make, so it's important to make sure you're well prepared for it. And they also illustrate the importance of how crucial it is to make your mortgage payments on time. So how much money or assistance are you typically getting through these programs? Again, this is very different depending on the program that you choose, but most of them will give you a percentage of the home's final sale price. So for example, if they're giving you 3% of the final sales price and the sale price of the home is $400,000, they're giving you $12,000 for your down payment. So let's say you're financing your purchase through an FHA loan, which as we said previously, requires you to put 3.5% down. So your down payment assistance program is giving you 3%, but you need to put down 3.5. So 3% of say a $400,000 home is $12,000. 3.5, as we said previously, is $14,000. So you would just have to give over $2,000 of your own money in order to make that down payment. But again, all programs offer a different percentage amount. Some programs just offer a flat rate of how much money they're gonna offer you. You know, they might just say, we're offering you $15,000 and that's it. Doesn't matter what the sale price of the home is. So it differs, so make sure that you check the rules and guidelines for the program that you choose. All right, so let's close out this video by talking a little bit about Biden's down payment assistance program. Now, it's really important to mention that this is currently just a proposal. It has not been passed or approved yet. This essentially would be a $15,000 tax credit that would be available to buyers at the time of closing so that they could cover their down payment costs. This is a little bit different from down payment assistance during the Obama administration because at that time, they were only offering down payment assistance as a refund during tax season. So you would have to come up with the down payment on your own during the time of closing, and you would just be refunded for it during tax season. There are lots of great videos on YouTube talking about Biden's down payment assistance proposal, and I'll have to agree with the general consensus. If it's released this year in 2021, it's just gonna cause more problems in an already tight market. Right now we're having an issue of tons of demand and not enough supply to satisfy that demand. So we have lots of buyers that are competing for few listings. We've talked about this before. And the last thing we need right now is more demand. What we need to level out the market and get back to a healthy market condition is more supply, more homes on the market, more new construction to level out the supply and the demand so we're more or so on an even playing field. If Biden's down payment assistance program is released this year, it would cause a lot more demand that has the potential to increase bidding wars on, again, the few listings that are on the market right now 
And once those bidding wars are increased further, that'll just drive prices up even higher and make it harder for buyers to win out in those bidding wars. It's just gonna make it tougher for buyers to compete with each other because there will be even more increased demand, which kind of negates the purpose of down payment assistance. Really, the purpose is to help buyers get into the housing market when they wouldn't have been able to otherwise. But if we're making it even harder for them by increasing demand and making them compete with a bunch of other buyers, then it kind of just kills the whole purpose. If released later on during his presidency, it does have the potential to be very beneficial, especially in getting renters out into the housing market. But again, supply has to increase first. All right, you guys, that's gonna be it for today. Thank you so much for joining me, for deciding to spend your time with me. I really appreciate that. That's so valuable to me. In next week's video, we're gonna be talking more about specific down payment assistance programs. I'm going to be talking about programs available in Oregon because that's where I'm licensed. Uh, this is where I live. So that's what I'm gonna be talking about. But I will link an article in my description box today with down payment assistance programs in other states. And again, like I said in the beginning of this video, I really recommend if you want to just cut right to the chase, Google down payment assistance grants in your state, city, county, whatever that may be, and that'll just get you right to those programs so that you can check their rules and guidelines. If you found this video helpful or beneficial, I would love it if you would consider liking and subscribing. I do post new videos every week and I would love to see you here again. And make sure to hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload. If you want to see more real estate content and be a part of my journey as a realtor, follow me on Instagram, which is at Arena D, and on TikTok, which is at Arena D PDX Realty. All right, you guys, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye! Passed or approved yet? Approved. Approved up.